All right, if you have to call 911, we hope you don't. Well, you know every second, every minute counts. But sometimes emergency crews are delayed navigating rural areas searching for the site. That's true. Aaron Cantrell found out about some new technology helping first responders locate those who need help. Combined, Brian Skoke and Ben Caver have over two decades of experience as first responders. We're pretty familiar with our zone. It's kind of part of our jobs to be familiar with the county, the area that we serve. But in a growing community like Williamson County, sometimes having a GPS isn't enough. This is one of the most frustrating things any first responder to have is to not be able to find that emergency. There have been situations where the house number isn't visible which is why Danny Couples, a paramedic with 35 years of experience, was interested in becoming the VP for the company that makes the locator 911 light bulb system. I try not to bring those two together, but on this situation, it came together. Paul Rucker, who is also a first responder, invested in the technology two years ago. It came in handy when his mother had an emergency at her home in Thompson Station. We have a long driveway with multiple houses on it, and we have this light bulb that you activate and it flashes in a colored pattern. This duo responded. Um, but even before we pulled in the driveway, uh, we could see exactly where we were going um, due to this locator bulb. You hit the red one and it turns it into the beacon for first responders. And it turned off and just used it as a regular light. Couple says the idea came to the company after a child died in another state. Responders couldn't find the home in time but since its launch, it's already made a difference. Three or four months ago, we got a call out of Florida. This says, hey, I want to thank you so much because this light helped save my child's life. Skoke and Caver believe this smart light bulb will continue to save lives. In Williamson County, Aaron Cantrell, News Channel 5. The light bulb is available in a couple of versions and they run you about $45 each. The company says it's donating some of the tech to fire departments across the country and they hope to secure grants so they can donate even more to low-income homeowners.